All right, guys, super quick video here because we do have a little bit of a Seahawks roster update. And because I've talked so much about this guy in recent weeks, I figured I'd uh, go ahead and make a separate video for it. Just across the wire a few minutes ago, the Seahawks, after not being able to trade Sidney Jones, have waived Sidney Jones. So he becomes available to another team to pick him up. Seahawks don't really get anything out of it. I think the team that picks him up would just inherit his contract or partial, uh, a partial amount of his contract. So I think there is a little bit of a savings involved here, but there will be no asset for Sidney Jones. Um, Sidney Jones was a cool reclamation project for the Seahawks over the last uh, year plus. He showed up in Seattle as something of a draft bust, somebody who had a negative reputation in the NFL. And he was able to rebuild himself very quickly in 2021. He went from a really, really bad cornerback to, by the end of the year, I think he was legitimately a really good cornerback. And I was really excited when we brought him back. I thought that was a good idea. I thought he was going to have a positive contribution for the team in 2022. Part of me wanted to extend him for multiple years. But then, quite simply, we kind of got lucky with the way things worked out at cornerback. Uh, Tariq Woolen proved ready to play immediately. Kobe Bryant was able to, well, I mean, it, it was a little bit of a bumpy road at first, but he was able to play. Uh, Michael Jackson has been playing really well since he started um, getting getting burnt out there. So we just didn't need him. And now Trey Brown's back, and we really don't need him, or about to be back. And you have Artie Burns, by the way, who has more experience playing man, <clears throat> which might be something that we're trying to transition to anyway. So there was no point for Sidney Jones to continue to be here. Um, I was hoping we could get maybe like a sixth or even a seventh round pick for him. Any draft capital would have been fine by me because we just didn't need him, but, uh, didn't happen. So Sidney Jones has been released. I'm going to kind of miss him. I'm not going to really miss him on the field because we're doing well at cornerback right now overall, and we have good depth there. And it's a position that historically we have done well at replacing players at under Carroll, but I'm going to miss him because it, it was a cool reclamation project, a cool story former Husky, somebody who had to work really hard to get his way back into the league. So I'll miss him in that regard. But uh, yeah, Sidney Jones, uh, good luck in the rest of the NFL, uh, signing with somebody else. He's still relatively young. I, I think he's got some good football in front of him. Hope the Niners don't sign him, I guess. That would be kind of a tragedy. But uh, yep, Sidney Jones, good luck.